Hey there coffee lovers, Dale here from Press to Cook and today we're tackling a common problem that drives caffeine addicts crazy, a malfunctioning Keurig coffee maker. So if your Keurig's giving you the cold shoulder, stay tuned because I've got five easy steps to get it back in action. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button if you love your morning coffee as much as I do. All right, let's get started. Step one, descale your Keurig. Mineral buildup from your water can clog your machine, making it sluggish or even stopping it from working altogether. Grab a bottle of Keurig descaling solution or mix up a homemade batch with equal parts water and white vinegar. Fill the water reservoir with the solution, place a large mug on the drip tray and run the machine without a cake up. Repeat this process until the reservoir is empty, then refill it with fresh water and run several cycles to rinse out any remaining vinegar taste. Step two, clean the needle. The needle that punctures your cake up can get clogged with coffee grounds and other debris, preventing water from flowing through. Turn off and unplug your Keurig, then carefully remove the cake up holder. Use a paper clip or the Keurig maintenance tool to gently clean out the needle, making sure to clear any blockages. Step three, check the water reservoir. Sometimes air bubbles can form in the water reservoir, causing your Keurig to malfunction. Remove the reservoir, give it a good shake, and then reattach it to the machine. Make sure it's seated properly and securely. Step four, clear the water line. If your Keurig is still acting up, it might have a clogged water line. Turn off and unplug the machine, then use a straw to blow air through the water line. This should dislodge any blockages and get the water flowing smoothly again. Step five, reset your Keurig. Sometimes a simple reset can work wonders. Turn off and unplug your machine, then wait a few minutes before plugging it back in and turning it on. This can help clear any minor glitches and get your Keurig back to its old self. And there you have it, five simple steps to fix your Keurig coffee maker and get your caffeine fix back on track. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Press to Cook for more awesome kitchen tips and tricks. Leave a comment below if you have any other Keurig troubleshooting tips or if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and happy brewing.